Alright y'all, welcome. I know it's been a, 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 a scary week, but I got something for you guys. I got a little over under for you, alright? You guys excited for this? Oh, you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys uh, sitting on the edge of your seats? Uh, I'm a little on the back side of it. Two men. <laughs> all right, sit, sit, sit up a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Four questions, two men, three mics. All right. All right. Here's how we're going to do it. Same as before. Obviously, we know the rules of over-under. Um, I say a phrase. I say a topic. You tell me if it's overrated or underrated, and we go into a uh, civil conversation about it until it doesn't stay civil anymore, and then we, uh, we kind of go off the rails. So I like it. let's see how quickly we can we can knock off those rails. Okay, so first one. This is very near and dear to my heart. Um, is the uh, sports basically sports coming back? Um, whether that's the MLB, the NBA, the MLS. Uh, I mean anything, all things sports. Uh, NHL. August is going to be a fantastic year for sports. I digress. Um, how do you guys feel about the comeback of sports? Uh, looking at it in a way where now there's no audience like you know I'm, i don't want to put too much in your brain but sports it's back overrated underrated i hate to say it, but overrated and i'll i have a very negative view to it yeah i'm i'm mixed but for one reason i'm gonna say underrated okay so um i will save what i'm gonna say for last i'm curious to uh to hear uh why you guys think that so I would say overrated. Um, ob- like, there's certain sports like basketball. I would say it's great, and I think that's actually underrated. Yeah. But if you're looking at sports as a whole, I think it's overrated because it takes out the atmosphere for the players. It takes out the atmosphere for the game. Like watching baseball, I literally watched the Grand Slam, and it was like the most nonchalant Grand Slam I've ever seen in my life. They walked the bases. They couldn't even give you high fives because of COVID. And then at the end, nobody was celebrating. There's no fans. And they had to have like random people just going, yay. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. I can't, I've already, baseball's already rough to me and I can't watch it live at a, at a stadium. I can't have my beers. I can't have a good time there. It, it kills it for me. So that's why I would say sports right now, overrated. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, my one reason for it being underrated is the way that the NBA is carrying it out. I think, they're doing an excellent job. Shouts out to um, Adam Silver for running this whole thing and doing a great yeah. job with it. You know, testing every single day, having really strict guidelines and procedures and ways about going about things. And I think <laughs> you were just saying it. As soon as you turn on the TV to watch the game, you started tearing up, and so yeah. did I. <laughs> so yeah, dude. I like. I'm I'm already an emotional dude. You know, <laughs> like I'll I'll cry to like most movies, <laughs> but this was an emotion. That I can yeah. that can only be described as as so much happiness and bliss yeah. in one moment <laughs> that I, I started tearing up and like my like my wife laughed like she was like are you are you crying right now I was like yes I was like I was like please I was like not right now like let me really like let me be in this moment right now where I'm my DVR is set to schedule the first Lakers game in like a hundred and something days. <laughs> yeah it's like I that it yes do I think it's overrated. Sure, because of the fans, it sucks that there's nobody there. Yeah. Um. But then I think about it a little bit, and I'm like, you know, when I go like my two big sports are soccer and basketball. Football obviously holds a, a weird place in my heart because I usually do fantasy, and that's like I, there's always money. Like I think of football, and I think of me Jeez. losing money. Yeah. <laughs> so, but soccer and or f- football, if you will, <laughs> and basketball are like in their purest forms. It's basically pickup games. Yep. Like when you go play, and that's what you're seeing now. But you're seeing pickup games to like the most highest degree, pickup games. So you're seeing like these people who like are the best at the best versions of these players are just literally playing pickup games. And yeah. It's so much fun yeah. to like watch them. Um, yeah, yeah. It's I, I think it's overrated, um, but I love the fact that they're back, and yeah. I will cry forever. At yeah, the man. Lakers now. Like people have said it a lot. Like we need sports, and I think it's like yeah. in this time where. We can't really go anywhere, enjoy anything, or we can enjoy things, but not like the thing, many things that we're used to. Like being able to at least turn on the TV and watch like LeBron James like dunk over somebody and like destroy the rim. Oh Catch my his God. own rebound. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feels amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Just watching that. So yeah. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is something fantastic. Um, and I'm excited to see the Lakers take it in four. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's let's switch topics here to um, and I, I think 
Nikhil, I'm interested in your opinion on this, but I also want to go into this with a little bit of trepidation because technically speaking, you are you are a shareholder or were a shareholder at some point of this company, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so Tesla stock is doing it again. It, oh, it, it is beating all expectations that have ever been put in front of it. It's making all of the bears that exists within the stock market look like absolute idiots. Yeah. Um, so Tesla stock and Tesla, I think as a whole, overrated, underrated. Absolutely overrated. Overrated. Now, Nikhil, <laughs> you're a shareholder. Why do you say overrated? All right, so do I have to do one of those like things where it's like, we'll put a graphic I am up not, here. I'm not, <laughs> we'll put a graphic up, yeah. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, qualified to give you financial advice so. your opinions blah 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 yeah, yeah. disclaimer disclaimer, disclaimer. disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it, it is overrated I think uh, and I'm not the greatest investor either 100% not a great investor so I think and I, I and I I invest very um, I guess you could say conservatively I don't you know um, I think the reason I invested in Tesla I invested in them like I think about a couple of shares in my retirement account too. Um, pretty close to like the bottom of the market um, in March or April, right? March. So yeah, so there was um, there was basically upside for many, many stocks. So I was like, and I've always loved Tesla. Um, and I think I, <laughs> there, when I was starting to get interested in investing uh, my freshman year of high school, so like four or five years ago now, I, I was like looking at all these stocks I wanted to invest in, but it never took action until like a few years later. Yeah. I, w I probably would have invested in Tesla back in my freshman year when it was like 150 to 200 yeah, like dollars, right? So it was kind of, it was a bit emotional, yes. Because uh, I do want to own a Tesla one day. Yeah. And I think, say what you will about Elon, like, I mean, his creativity and vision is a lot of what is poured a lot into what Tesla is today. So I was like, I'll just buy a couple of stocks, see where it goes. And I have definitely gotten some pretty big ROI. Would I invest now? No. Would you say that your feelings towards Elon Musk have grown fonder after your after I, I, I choose not to comment on this. <laughs> okay, very smart. Val? Um, how do I put this delicately? Um, Don't put it delicately. <laughs> Tesla's stock price is, is dumb. And the reason why it's dumb yes. is because it has a bunch of fanboys that love Tesla and they're investing into it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I do believe that one day Tesla stock is going to be over $10,000. And I do see a lot of value there. And if you're investing into the 30-year vision and hedging all your risk, go ahead. But if you think that Tesla is a good investment in the next five years, you're an absolute idiot. Even Elon Musk says you're an idiot to invest in my <laughs> company. And there is, there's a reason for that. Yeah. Because the SEC as, hates them. Exactly. The SEC hates them. Um, if you look at their roadmap, if you look at everything that they're doing, they're, the the price of the stock is right now, if you bought, like if they're selling their cars for 200 times the value that they're selling their cars. So there's, the valuation of their, their companies is just completely obnoxious. That being said, it's a great company. I, I believe in I believe in Elon. I believe in what they're trying to do. But for investing in a stock, it is so stupid to invest into Tesla. Also, to kind of just, just put in perspective, we are currently in a very bad economic situation. I mean, we to just put it lightly, yeah. to put it lightly. I yep. mean, we're, we 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 broke the Great Depression levels of the GDP drop, and that put into context. If you look at tech firms or uh, any kind of innovative firm, they lose about seventy percent of value during those time frames. So hopefully, Tesla can survive through, like when it comes to their stock valuation with a lot of individuals. But I'm waiting for it to be cheaper than when you bought it. Then I'm going to buy five shares of it, and then we'll talk in about ten years. Well, I didn't get <laughs> to say that I'm probably going to sell soon, and then you know wait for all that to happen. But yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you sell within one year, you're going to pay a lot of taxes on it's it. It's in which my retirement account. Oh, what kind of retirement? Yeah, talking? now we're talking we're, Roth? Now we're, we're talking a 401k. What are we Roth. talking about here? Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep. So, yep, yep, so yep, yep. I, I think, I think Tesla's overrated. Um, I think Elon Musk is overrated. <laughs> I think um, anyone who is an Elon Musk fanboy is overrated i think anything that touches the sphere of elon except for spacex for some reason I g i'll give spacex a lot of credit um 
the boring company too, the flamethrower. You got to give Zach some credit. Come on now. He, dude, he has flair, which irritates me. He he is. The I get it, flair. Yeah. Flair. God, I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> he is the like he's everything that we deserve as millennials now. Like he is the embodiment of what a millennial. Like, if you tell somebody to ex- explain to you what a millennial is, that's what he is. Like he embodies that, but he also is a billionaire, which is. He just goes, oh, that's cool. Yeah, sure, make it. <laughs> like, it's like, there's no hindsight behind yeah. it. Um, he does it, and he's been weirdly successful. I have so many <laughs> friends that have hats and t- like the Occupy Mars t-shirts when that happened, Boring Company hats. I don't know anybody with the flamethrower. I wish I did, because I would want to try it. Um, and yeah, Tesla. I mean, I, I still want a Tesla, though. I do, too. That, that, that's that. At the end of the day, hurts I, my heart. I, I still want a Tesla. I still want to drive it. That I do believe in the long term of it. But yeah, and anything that touches with it is completely overrated. God, yeah, I want to I want a Model X so bad. I just want to do the, the gold wing doors. <laughs> have it dance. Yeah, have it dance. Have it do the, the whole the whole thing. Um, yeah, so Elon Musk. I think we're all in the overrated we're in, camp. Yeah, we're in agreement on that one. Yeah. Okay, here's one that, that I, I can imagine we're all going to share the same sentiment on as well. And that was the most recent antitrust hearings. So, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Google. and Google um, recently... Um, had to sit in front of a committee uh, in the Senate. Was it a Senate or was it a House? It was, it was a House. It was a House. It was House committee. Actually, no, no, it was Senate. It was Senate. It was Senate committee. So they had to sit in front of a committee uh, for the U.S. government uh, and talk about um, antitrust issues, anti-competitive issues, and just like kind of bad practices um, overall. So uh, I think we all watched it. We all understand what happened. We all get the main takeaways here. Uh, the antitrust hearings as a whole, were they overrated or underrated in your opinion? Well, as in the context of what I hope it was underrated, but as, as of what that was, it was so overrated because they made a huge feel about nothing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, overrated. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Um, so if you're going to have a hearing about companies becoming monopolies, first of all, Please don't sideline the entire conversation about censorship on the platforms and something that has nothing to do with what the hearing is about for one side of the equation. And then the other side of the equation, if you're going to criticize these companies and talk about how you're going to break them in Malapus, please understand what platforms are useful. Don't start talking about stuff that happens on Twitter and ask that to Mark Zuckerberg because it just shows there's such a big informational gap. So it's like these are the people that are supposed to make legislation on these companies, but they don't understand how these companies work or how they make money or how they grow. So it was just it was just a fiasco. It was just an overrated kind of like theater show, and nothing got answered by any of the executives. They didn't. Yeah. They, they sidelined all questions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I didn't watch the whole six hours for one thing, and then I only heard bits and pieces of it, and I saw like a little bit of it. And from what I saw, it was extremely overrated because it was just like I just felt like the people asking the questions weren't fully educated on what they were talking about. And so, like, I remember very distinctly when, I I don't remember who it was, but she was asking Mark Zuckerberg about cookies, right? And we're talking about the the ones that come out of the oven. (laughs) No, yeah, uh, (laughs) tracking cookies and things like that. Um, So in 2004, Zuckerberg said something about... 2014. No, she said 2004. 2004? Is that long ago? Was Facebook around? (laughs) Yeah. On Facebook was 2008. No, 2004. Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> Man, we're old. Zuckerberg had said something about I will, we will, Facebook will never use cookies to steal personal data or something like that. Something along those lines. And of course, Zuckerberg was trying to get around the question and trying to like, he was trying to get around to it. And then eventually they were running out of time. Uh, so the lady, she asked, um, she, she was like, look, yes or no, does Facebook use cookies? And then, and then Zuckerberg in very fairly was like, well, Congresswoman, I'm trying to like, under, let me understand. Yes or no cookies. Do you use cookies? And he was like, yes, Facebook uses cookies. And then she was like, okay, so Facebook has clearly contradicted or violated whatever they said in 2004 about sealing personal data. I'm like, dude, that's not the same thing. Like using that cookies, gotcha and, moment. using cookies for like malicious reasons. Like, dude, that's ridiculous. You can't do that. So that's why 
I found it to be pretty overrated. Yeah, I, I agree with both of you guys, 100. <laughs> percent There's, I'm not even gonna there's add no, anything. There's no, there's no, there's no <laughs> argument there. Alrighty, last but not least, and I think this is a fun one, um, mainly because uh, I'm losing my mind in quarantine. Uh, every day, I I go further and further into the darkness. You know. Yep. So, quarantine date ideas. Uh, Alright, you guys ready for this one? How do you guys feel about drive-in movies? Coming back, and uh, uh, as kind of touching on that as well, uh, drive-in raves and like drive-in concerts as well. Those are also becoming a thing. Okay, so which one do you want overrated or underrated on? Just drive-in in general, or drive-in movies, or which one? Because every single one I would have a dis- different answer to. Really? Okay, let's 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 go through drive-in movies first. Drive-in movies, I think that's actually underrated, and I actually have a good reason for that one. Underrated for drive-in movies. For movies? Okay. Why is that? Uh, drive-in movie wise um, you still get the actual experience it's a little bit more old school and you can personalize it especially with cars nowadays you could actually make a pretty dope experience and uh, just to plug uh, edge sound research a little bit we'll, we'll have a device that you can uh, tie into your car so you, that movie experience will be even greater can we go ahead and scrub in this video <laughs> Nikhil, you're saying underrated yeah, I mean, I've actually been on into a drive-in movie date, and it was pretty fun. So, because of that simple answer, underrated. Yeah, I've never been to a drive-in movie, so uh, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, so this kind of touches on like, dr- so drive-in like concert experiences, whether that's a rave or a concert in general. How do you feel about that? Uh, for those, I think would be overrated. Um, any anything music related, because you want to move. A movie, you can lay back. Uh, yeah. Drive-in experience for a music festival, I, I could care less, and you're not going to see me go to hard <laughs> Coachella or hard yeah. summer and just be like in the car, just be like yeah. You're like gonna stick a- your hand <laughs> out of the window and match somebody's other hand and do the bracelet swap. Exactly. This, this, from no. another car. No, you're not going to do that. No. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I haven't been to a rave, but I've been to concerts, and it's too hard to imagine that it could be super enjoyable. I mean, because like the experience is. A whole part of it it's not just like the music and stuff so overrated to answer your question <laughs> i guess if there was like some sort of way you could like get on top of your car or something and have like a stable like i don't know place of like dance or something there's I don't know. some way that you could feel sound it might make it a very uh oh my interesting god stop with the parties, bro. <laughs> <laughs> i'm disgusted right now i i i can't even go ahead no, no, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, right. I was done with my plug right okay. there. Okay, all right, all right. Um, so that that actually is that's everything. That's all all the topics we have. So that actually very very nicely, I think, opens up the floor for uh, Edge on Research. Go ahead, let's hear about it. Um, it's all right, all it's actually all the time we it, have. It's, that's, uh, it's uh, proprietary <laughs> information, and uh, we're not allowed to disclose of anything. Uh, no, yeah, so those developments. I I, I think that that the, these four topics are, are really interesting right now. So. Um, the NBA, I think we're all in agreement that right now without fans, this is obviously like sports without fans, um, it works, but sports as a whole without fans, overrated. Um, Tesla, overrated. The, um, the hearings, I think very overrated. And driving movies, take it or leave it. (laughs) Some of us are overrated, some of us underrated. I've never experienced it, so I, I can't in good faith. Kind of like how you do with your stocks. You can't technically give out advice because blah, blah, blah. I'd be very worried about that too, so. Yeah. Exactly. That works out. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think all things considered, there you go. That's really all we have. Um, thank you for watching Overrated Underrated. This technically is the first outro we've ever done for Overrated <laughs> Underrated because now cameras are not dying. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> Sam, man, it, it's, we love doing this stuff. It's fun. Um, give us more ideas. If you're watching this and you have any kind of input on what you want to see that's overrated, what you want to see that's underrated, put it in the comments. And I mean, honestly, we're, we're there. We're all in the mess. We're on the comments of all the platforms that we are. We'll look into it. If it's interesting, we might do it. If it's not interesting, we'll block you. That's our stance on that. Um, so please leave your comments, roll the dice. Thank you for watching. See you next time.